Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will configure an AWS provider to establish a secure connection between Terraform and AWS. To start, the first thing I want you to do is open a new Visual Studio Code window. Once you have opened Visual Studio Code, the next thing I want you to do is open the repository you cloned on your computer in the previous lecture. So, to open the repository in Visual Studio Code, we are going to select file and select open folder. Then browse to the location where you cloned the repository. I cloned the repository on my C drive, so I'm going to select C drive. Then I'll select users and admin. I'll scroll down here. This is the repository. Remember the repository I want you to open in Visual Studio Code is the range zone infrastructure ECS repository we cloned on our computer in the previous lecture. Once you have selected the folder, click Select Folder. And there you go. We have opened that repository in Visual Studio Code. Once you have opened the repository in Visual Studio Code, the next thing we are going to do is create a provider file in this repository. To create a provider file in this repository, right click anywhere in this open space and select New File. Give the file a name and call the file providers.tf. Once you've given the file a name, press enter. And there you go. We have created the providers.tf file. Once you have created the file, the next thing I want you to do is use the link in this video's description to open the reference file I created for this lecture. This is the reference file that I created for this lecture. And this reference file contains the provider block that we will use to authenticate Terraform with AWS. The next thing I want you to do is click this box to copy the content of this reference file. Once you have copied the content, go back to Visual Studio Code. And in your providers.tf file, paste it in there. To authenticate Terraform with AWS, first we will specify provider. And the cloud provider we want to authenticate to is AWS. The first option in our provider block is region, and this is the region we want to deploy our project in. Remember when we created the VPC module, we created a variable for our region. So we will reference that variable here by typing var dot, and the name of our variable was region, so we will type region there. The next option in our provider block is profile. And this is the named profile we configured on our computer that we will use to authenticate with AWS. Remember in the previous lecture, when we configured a named profile on our computer, I named my profile Terraform user. So I'm going to type Terraform user here in double quotes. The next option is default tags. And these are the tags we want to add to our resources when we create them. For automation, for the value, type Terraform in double quotes. For project, we will tag our resources by our project name. Remember we created a variable for our project name when we created the VPC module. So here, we are going to reference that variable by typing var dot. And the name of the variable was project name. So type project name here. The next tag we will add to our resource is environment. And we will also reference our resources by the environment we are deploying them in. Remember we created a variable for our environment in the VPC lecture. And we will reference that variable here. So to reference that variable, we will type var dot and the name of the variable. And we call the variable environment. This is all we need to do to create the provider block that we will use to authenticate Terraform with AWS. The next thing we will do is create another file in our project folder and we will call the file variables. So I want you to right click anywhere in your project folder, click new file, give the file a name and call the file variables.tf. Once you've given the file a name, press enter. Then, once you have created your variables.tf file, 
I want you to select it, hold it and drag it to the right side of your screen. And once you see this preview, drop it there. Then all we have to do is the variable we have listed in our providers.tf file. We also have to list them in the variables.tf file. So first in the variables.tf file, enter a note and call it environment variables. Once you enter your note, press enter. Then under the note, we will reference our first variable, which is region. So here we will type variable and once you see the variable block, select it. And this is going to create the variable block for you. All you have to do is enter the variable name and the variable name we want to enter is region. So type region in the double quote. Once you've entered your variable name, the next thing I want you to do is click on line four before the curly brackets. Then I want you to press backspace to bring the curly bracket on line two where the variable is. So it should look like this. Once you have created the variable, we will create the next variable. So I'm going to copy this variable and I'm going to press enter and paste it here. Then we will modify the variable name. For the next variable name, it is project name. So you can copy it from here and paste it here. The third variable we will reference is environment. So let's copy this variable. Press enter, paste it here. Then we will modify the name. The name of the variable is environment. So you can copy it from here and paste it here. And this is all we need to do in this lecture. Remember any variable you specify in your providers.tf file, you also have to specify them in your variables.tf file. The next thing I want you to do is save your work. Select file and select save all. This is all we need to do to create a provider file that will authenticate Terraform with AWS. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.